Hello, this is Mike from Windows8Forms.com. In this video, we're going to show you the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This preview has just recently been released, and we'll go here, click on Next, click on Install Now. And this is after booting up our ISO installation media, which we can download from the official Windows 8 Consumer Preview website. I'm going to quickly enter my product key here. Here's how you get your product key from Microsoft. And you may notice we're skipping around a little bit, but we'll go back to the installer in just a minute. We go to Google, we type in Download Windows 8 Consumer Preview, and we want to click on the first link that comes up here. And this URL is the official way of downloading it. We want to enter our email address and information here, as well as our country of origin. And we agree to receive email communication as outlined in the setup privacy statement. Now, once we do that, we get a thank you for subscribing, and we can click on download the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now, this will lead you to downloading the setup file that will run an analysis to see if your computer is suitable for upgrade. What it will also do is provide you with the product key that you desperately need in order to either clean install the system or not. However, here is how we would go ahead and perform an upgrade install and get our product key even to do a ISO uh, clean install by booting from disk. We would burn a disk and we would boot from that and we would clean install the operating system, which is something we will go back to. But right here, we're seeing a compatibility check. Now, this used to be a separate utility in Microsoft Windows 7 uh, upgrade path. But for Windows 8, it is now integrated into the setup installer, apparently, at least for the consumer preview, that is. And we see that 24 of our apps and devices will work, but four items do need attention. And for me, in this case, it's Ada64, which is a uh, diagnostic software, my NVIDIA uh, uh, AMD drivers, as well as uh, looks like I have some problems with uh, a game called Fallout 3 New Vegas. So we can print that or save it, but we can go ahead and we can click on next to continue. And that is where you're going to go ahead and get a product key for the software. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will not show you my product key, although I doubt Microsoft really cares or is tracking how many product keys are being used. However, once that is uh, received, you can go ahead and click on next and start downloading the operating system almost immediately. And this will set the stage for the upgrade path. However, we're going to go back to the clean install and I'm going to show you that now. It's important to note that once you do get your product key, you can go ahead and download the ISO and do a clean install. You can do this in a virtual machine or a uh, on your computer itself and just clean install the computer. What's important to understand is this, this is a consumer preview. It is basically a beta version of Windows 8. And you are still bound to the terms of the end user license agreement. Now, in this case, we're going to go to custom install Windows only. And remember that we've booted up from the CD. We don't really need to do anything because we have an empty drive here. However, if it wasn't empty, we would just clean out all of that and erase everything. What's going to happen now is you're going to see that Windows is copying files, expanding files, and not much different uh, installation process here uh, than what we saw with Windows 7. I imagine that it could be a bit different uh, as far as the presentation once the operating system is ready for its final retail release. However, we are going to skip ahead here and go ahead and see what Windows 8 looks like once we've gone ahead and installed the Consumer Preview version. It's important to note that the Consumer Preview expires on January 15th, 2013. This is a long time from now. At present, it is March 2nd, 2012. And we won't need to worry much about that. Um, this looks like it's going to be probably the last official uh, release to the public before the operating system is out. As you can see, we're skipping ahead here, and the installation is proceeding rather quickly. This beta fish is nothing new, although it has a new look today. And we're getting some devices ready here. We won't have any drivers uh, by default here. We are in a virtual machine. And what we're going to do is install drivers once this installation process is done, and you'll see the difference once some drivers are installed. Now, if you're upgrading, which most people will be, you're going to have an upgrade advisor give you information on what you need to do before and after you install Windows 8 and upgrade to Windows 8. 
the steps that you participated in when you first started will also be quite different. For example, you will not want to wipe the drive. You will want to perform an upgrade. And of course, we see the boot screen here. It, operating system is restarting again. And we are waiting here. This would normally be the Windows 8 boot screen, which currently is not available. And you are going to be brought into a configuration process once the preparation steps are done. Now, as far as what's going on during installation, obviously this is quite different from Windows 7, although it looks very similar. The installation process is streamlined and seems to be quite a bit faster. First thing you'll see here is that you can change your default background cover color. And you can also go ahead and give your PC a name, not unlike Windows 7 whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and set a color here as well as a PC name. As you can see, there are a number of different colors that you can choose from. And this will be used for the Metro UI feature. Uh, this feature goes ahead and pretty much replaces uh, the uh, start menu in Windows. And we're going to go ahead, we named our computer. Now we have the option to set express settings here. This is very important. We'll automatically install updates. We'll protect the PC from unsafe content automatically using Windows Defender. And we're going to go ahead and sign into the PC. And the way we do this is a little bit different now. We're going to use a Microsoft account. And when we do that, we can use the App Store, we can access our photos, and we can use a lot of other features that are available using that account, including Windows SkyDrive. So we go ahead and enter that information. And obviously, I entered the wrong password here, but we'll continue. And then we're going to want to enter some security verification information. Once we enter this information, we'll go ahead and click on Next. Now, it's important to note that that was an optional step, but as soon as you do it, your account will be created. And you'll see a creating your account uh, sort of thing going on here and a finalization of your settings. You don't need to link your account uh, to Microsoft's uh, live services in order to use Windows 8 Consumer Preview, but it will help you gain access to various features of the operating system right now while it's still in beta and in the future during the final release. So you'll see a preparing Windows uh, thing here, and all of a sudden you'll be booted into Metro UI. And it looks very small from here right now because we don't have the video graphics drivers that we need. And I'll show you how we're going to just go ahead and install those. It would be different under a different scenario. But basically, this is what is replacing the start menu in Windows 8. So as you can see on the bottom left hand side, we don't have a start menu anymore. And if we hit the start key on our keyboard, we do go back to the Metro UI. We do see a familiar desktop, although much has changed. Uh, and we'll see a little bit more of that going forward. Now, because I am installing my drivers in a virtualized environment, I am installing the VMware tools. I've gone ahead with VMware Workstation 8 and installed Windows 8 using a clean install method. If you had NVIDIA drivers or AMD drivers, you would want to go to amd.com or nvidia.com and download the latest drivers uh, for your video card. And in this case, I'm going ahead and you're going to see a major difference here. And you'll see a full, more complete desktop uh, as we continue here. And with those drivers pretty much installed, you see that we have the full 1080p desktop available to us. And now Windows 8 Consumer Preview has been clean installed. So uh, we'll go ahead and explore some of the features in a future video. Please uh, stay with us and visit windows8forms.com for more information. We would enjoy you joining our community to discuss the new operating system. Uh, this has been Mike from Windows8Forms.com. Thanks again for watching this video. And we'll go deeper into the new features that we find with the operating system and see just how fast it's running in a non-virtualized environment as well.